Hello everyone, Angelo here again. It's been a long time that I don't make any videos at all. So many things going on. But today I want to just make a quick video and something that I just done today. And I'm still like so many personal things going on and I have been out of like most of things that I usually like to do for a while. But step by step I'm getting back. Okay, so today I have a short video, not so short, but not too long either. Uh, I got uh, recently uh, a vinyl cutter, a Puma, uh, a GCC Puma 3 slash 60. There is a nice cutter, uh, kind of old, but it's like a workhorse. And I have here, I just keeping little things on my bedroom for now. And I was using a uh, I forgot the other card that I was using here. Okay, but anyways, so I got that cutter and I said, you know, I that is it will be a little bit better than the one that I'm having here right now. Just run some testings. So I did some upgrades, some updates, some firmware, everything, and the cutter is perfect. So, but I have a little problem. My computer is on this side of my bedroom, and the place that I got to get the cutter is on the other side. So that cutter only have USB, parallel, and serial ports. So it would be kind of hard to get wiring all around and I don't want to messing with wires and stuff like that. So that as an old cutter, they doesn't have like a network port. If it does, it would be nice to have because I have a network connection close by there. So I just remember I still have a bunch of old uh, print servers. I run on my storage and like always, I could not find it. I dig a little bit more. Finally, I could find one that I was using on my old, old, old Roland Stika SX15. That is a parallel port network ser print server. I said, you know what? That's all that I got it. Just get back and just see if I can do something. Drivers are kind of old, old for that thing. I think so. The latest drivers that we got was for Windows 95, but they have a web management page, but I forgot which address I had before. I could remember vaguely that I know my old, my old network was on the 192.168.1. whatever. So what I did was, as you guys can see right there, I still connected down right there. I got my laptop connect straight to the print server and I could find uh, my old address that that server was set up to. So after I done that, I connect back my network cable and I got back here to my computer. Oh, that's crazy. And I could find, I just typed the address and I could get through it. I changed to my new address, uh, network address that I have right now, did a few configs and great. The cutter is working fine right now. So uh just to show you guys i added back to my flexi and on the production manager i just put it to my ip address that i set up to my new address that i have right now and i said well, well just try it and what I did is I just just got that little error right now and 
there see how you guys can see here is on my puma 60 and where i just hit send and it takes a little bit but here we go it's print it's cut it itself so was a nice uh way to get that cutter online and to get that little old old body working and i'm glad for that and that's all guys that i can take and take for for now and i hope so that can help somebody else